Well, hold on. One last question. So when you're out there, do you just black out? No. Or, or do you... <laughs> Or do you Steve just, just wakes up in the hospital? <laughs> After a USB fight, Steve just wakes up in the All you hear is doo doo doo. If I fought two years, I'm blacked out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. You don't do anything um, but drink water, huh, Eric? No, no, he doesn't drink. No alcohol. He doesn't smoke Theo's weed. not in here, so I got a little whiskey in my cup. Okay. Yeah, where's Theo? He's in Nashville, man, and he yeah. can he couldn't fuck he couldn't find a producer to help him zoom it in, huh, Nick? You yeah, know what? He I'm, was at the fights, man. He was there. Like he was like backstage and yeah, he went with Spade, and then yeah. uh, obviously he's boys with pictures with Gaethje and he's boys with Poirier. They yeah. put him on the UFC uh, on the UFC Instagram. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. So he's big time now, huh? Private jets. I I don't think he's flying private. Oh, saying, you know, I mean, Theo, that's... he's a penny pincher. He's flying spirit. Yeah. And then if David, if uh, Spade hits him yeah. up for private, I think. What are your thoughts on, on the, the the Juliana Pena upsetting a uh, uh, man? Did Amanda? everyone watch it? You probably didn't watch it, huh, Eric? You don't. You know, you Dude, don't, you don't that like was it. a stunner. One, I'm not into fighting because yep. I don't like it's too violent, and I'm really not into women fighting. That's fair. I don't like I looking at that. Yeah. And I you just know what's don't weird like if you say that, it. people are like, that's already, you're, you're a feminist, you know, you're not, you're no. anti, no, 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 I just, no, I don't the way want, I was raised, man, I, yeah. I don't like seeing women get in the face. Now, yeah, I'm, different. Like, you know, like I I'm, I'm different, I, I get that, uh -huh. it's different, I think, like, if you look at like a Paige Van Zandt, who, or, you know, uh, Rachel Ostovich, who are just dime pieces, and when they get in the face, I'm like, oh, god damn. Rose is pretty, too. She's Rose a, is pretty, she's too. She's really pretty. Yeah, different. Like, mm -hmm. you look at Paige, it's like supermodel. You look at yeah. Rachel Joseph, it's supermodel. Yeah, Some of these girls, but then if they're like warlocks, I'm like, hell yeah, let's do this. <laughs> I just, I don't like it, man. I, I don't, like, by the way, I don't like my my buddy, I have a buddy of mine, Eric, you know, Eric Coke, you know what I mean? What'd you say? You know, Eric, buddy, Eric you know, oh, the yeah, yeah, shout out to Coke. I don't yeah, like shout watching out to Coke. him fight because he's my friend. Yeah, we yeah. play video games you, with him. We you, met you know him what I'm playing saying? Destiny. Yeah, yeah and we and got I, to know this guy. He became our friend. Yeah, and then it's hard it's watching sad. him. Oh, Rogan used to cry. Rogan oh, was yeah, I'm sure it's the same thing with you. I can't, I hated it. That's why I can't do it. So I don't like what, and that's what I'm saying. I don't like watching women fight. Like, our we we're brought up, we're brought up to to like, you know, you don't hit women. So apparently it's okay for women to get hit if it's pay per view. Well, it gets another woman though. No, even still. Wait, wait. Let me let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Area is old school. He's like, I, I was brought school. up. Women no, 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 don't get no. hit. When they stay in the goddamn kitchen. <laughs> I didn't say all that. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody. He added that shit. He no, added but that's that. what you're time stamp it. Time yeah. Yeah. That. But we all got wait, wait, wait. that. We all got heard. that vibe in here. I didn't right? even put on there the views of Brendan Schaub or not. <laughs> no, that, that, that's no, no, yours. No, but here's the thing. Let me ask you this. Okay, so. Who's who's this chick that just fought the ch the female champ? Pena. Okay. Juliana Pena. Juliana Pena, Pena fought Amanda Nunes. Okay, yeah. so both moms. So let me way. ask you this. Both moms. Who's doing more damage? If uh, I hit one of these chicks in the face? Yeah. Or one of them hit each other in the face. If Amanda Nunes hit you, yeah, so, you hear so she, let's take Stevie for example. She would knock example. you out, man. If you hit she Stevie in the face, the fuck uh -huh. out, or if Amanda Nunes hit Stevie <laughs> you know in the face, you know what I'm talking about. Amanda Nunes would probably do more damage. Okay, okay. Amanda would knock wait, wait, you no, out. No, no, no. Excuse me. You're not. You're missing the whole yeah. point. Wait, 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 you're missing. You're missing the point because you're not listening. Wait, wait, wait. Just say your thing. Take a second. Yeah. Just say your thing, though. So Steve, Steve, Steve. No, say your mind. I know. I know. But Steve, shut the fuck up. No, no, Steve, 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 Steve. Shut the fuck up. That's the other one. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, my point is, if if there therefore, like, if I hit this chick in the face, everybody would flip out. Hell They'd be yeah. like, I'm oh, mad, it's hitting. But this chick who's trained, a trained killer, hits her in the face, and we're like, this is cool. But she's another uh, female. As long as we, but, but they're another female. I, I, and she didn't like. If you think that matters, this, this that's the hypocrisy of the whole thing. I just don't like it. I don't like none of that. I don't want to see you get hit in the face that's and you fair. a big fucking monster. Yeah, that's fair. And I don't want to see a, a, a hundred pound. No, I get it. You know, There's whatever, 120 like, pound mm -hmm. chick get hit in the face. You're either, not either a more fan so. of any of You never no. was a fan of UFC or any of it. No, no, no. You I don't never, even like boxing. You never liked it. No. Cause I, cause Ever. I, you don't like people getting hurt. Yeah. Especially when boxing even worse. Because look, all these boxing people, they can't talk. Yeah. They, they, they're getting MS. They get like, and I'm just like, oh man, they, they, those violent sports, I'm out. What were you saying, Nick? I, I just, I get not enjoying watching it, but your, but your reasoning, like, 
if um, if Insane. she gets hit by Amanda, it's not like Amanda was popping up at dinner, so she got popped. It was she's like, I want to go to war. I signed up for this yeah. competition. Yeah. Do you want? Do you want? Oh, no, all I'm sports? saying, all I'm saying is like, just any kind of like that kind of violence. Violence. You on, don't like it. I just don't like it. What's up, kids? Hey, listen. Two out of three bros will experience some form of hair loss by the time they're 35. More than 50 million dudes in the U.S. of A suffer from male pattern baldness. I see it, man. I'm on the road all the time. A lot of y'all using your hair. You're, you're looking like George Costanza. It's not good, man. And my friends at Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. Slow-cost treatments start just $10 per month. Is your long locks worth $10? I think so. Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. Prevention is key. Treatment start, uh, listen, it takes four to six months to see results, so act right now. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash K-A-T-S. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash cats to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash cats. Get your first month free. Keeps.com slash cats. He likes basketball. Yeah, just that's violent. He likes, he likes <laughs> well, the Clippers not these days. In football, I mean, even you, even, you, even so like, hold up, you don't. So the only sport, professional sport, you watch is NBA. No, no, I watch. I like the NFL. I like the basketball. And NFL's not too violent for you. No, no, because they at least have equipment on. <laughs> No, no, no. But by the way, I t- it's the hypocrisy. I know. The hypocrisy of I get it because those guys get fucked like, up. Yeah, they really get messed up, yeah. especially with the CTE oh, and all this stuff they're talking about. about. But I just, there's just something about a vo- mono e mono violence on each other. I just ugh. But football's mono a mono, but you're just looking at the grand yeah, 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 thing. Yeah, yeah. But the offense at least defense, they get a break. linebacker. <laughs> but then they just keep going. It's three hours. I know. You this, know what? This. I know. I have to rethink it. But this, this I just can't I just when, especially UFC, especially when it looks like they're like barely covering their knuckles, it's, it feels like you know at least four ounce it, gloves. It's crazy because when you watch boxing, it feels like they're safer because they got that big ass, which is insane. Which because they, they're they're clubs, right? And they're ten ounce gloves. And if you've ever seen like Deontay Wilder's hand or like Mike Tyson's. That ten ounce glove is spread over their entire. It's nothing, bro. It's it nothing. Feels, it looks like it's more. It's right? all off. But then when you look at uh, UFC, it just feels like how's that? It's, it feels like because you can see their hands. Yeah. So you don't think it's much, but it, no, no, you think, I think it's worse. Is what oh, I'm gotcha. saying. Yeah, yeah. It looks worse to me. But according to like all you, you it's sort safer. of fight people, yeah, it's UFC is safer than boxing. Way safer. Yeah. And it's just like that's the thing that blows my mind. So like if you had to look at like the violence level, if you looked at the <laughs> violence level, is it football, boxing, UFC? Which one of these three is more violent? To the more com- dangerous to, to the human body. To, to the common football. fan? Yeah. To the people or just that, in real like, like what's the actual Oh, fact? football's football. More football. football. Yeah. Concussions, man. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Football. Guys, 270 pounds running four three forties, running yeah. straight yeah. face first into each other and it's shit. It's barbaric. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Gladiator yeah. shit. But then it, but then you have these, you know, two people in a ring that are like just looking to just beat each other. I saw the clip of that fight of those two chicks fighting. Yeah. And like she was oh my God. And then after it was done. The other one hugged the other one like, and I was two, like, two moms, bro. I was like, what are you guys doing, <laughs> Nick? You you bet on the fights? Oh yeah, my, my, par- my, par- my parlor is fucked. I I, I start off hot with Tai Tuivasa, then I Cody Garbrandt doesn't pour it in. Yeah, I went an unbelievable. Well, I sent you the screenshot, which was like me chasing smart Juliana Pena trying if she won in third, fourth, or fifth. I was going to Sizzler. It would have been a great day. But she won in the second. Sizzler. Uh, it's, it's from <laughs> White Man Can't Jump. Uh, but, I say it all the time. <laughs> but uh, my my actual picks that I put out and like I let people see publicly, I went an unbelievable zero for eight. If you would have parlayed, oh, that's hard to do. If you would have parlayed the opposite of my <laughs> picks, you'd you have been balling. Oh, zero oh for eight. Oh, this is crazy. Tied to Ivasa, Dustin Poirier, Miranda Maverick. Well, tied to uh, Ivasa won. Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I had Augusta Sakai. Yeah, you fucked up. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was bad. It was. It was. This, yeah. guy, this guy's got a related debate club. I think we know yeah. everybody's answers, but uh, we'll, we'll it'll bring up something else. Hey guys, what's up? This is Asher calling out of Virginia. I uh, was just driving down the road, thinking a little bit today, and. Uh, have a debate club for you guys. I saw the Rat King sitting beside that beautiful man, David Spade, at the Poirier fight, mm-hmm. and just got to thanking. You got to thanking. If you had to pick one, thanking. Would you rather be sitting 
ringside with the Rat King and Spade or front row at that Yeezy Yeezus oh. Drake concert. That's a tough one. Let is me know it? What you guys think. No. That's not tough at UFC all. UFC all the way. Oh, really? I'd go Kanye. Yeah, me too. I don't want to sit I'd with go Kanye David Spade and Theo Vaughn. I'd go Kanye. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Kanye, Kanye Drake? Kanye wait, hasn't wait. performed in no. five years? No, forget about I that. I can go to UFC. No, no, forget, forget about that. that. The, the question was, Spotify, do you want to sit with Theo <laughs> and David Spade? Like, Take them I, out of it. Just talk about yeah, it. I want to say like UFC. <laughs> I want to go to UFC. I've never been. I've Ugh. never been to a UFC. Who wants to hang out with those two? <laughs> but, let's show, so let's take let's take Dave and Theo. Out yeah, of we got to take them so, out. So of it. cage side UFC or Mike Tyson or fr- if I was sitting next to Mike Tyson, that would be something special. Well, whoever, <laughs> let's just say cage side. You can pick whatever celebrity you want, Stevie, for okay, God's okay, sake. Okay. So let's yeah. say cage side UFC. <laughs> Steve's like, oh, I, I want to sit next to E Honda from. Yeah. <laughs> from, from from Street Fighter. He's like, Cage side, Caitlyn Jenner. Hello, fuck. Yeah, whoever you want, Stevie. Yeah. Don't you start with me this early. I used to in love Ehonda, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just sit there and do this. Yeah. My brother's like, you're cheating. Um, I, I would pick Kanye Drake front really? row all day. Yeah. yeah. I, so I don't like but going dude, to Dude, have you I been tr- to a concert lately? It's not what it used to be. What's the last concert you went to? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> yeah. Have you Joe, been doing yeah. 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 Hold up, man. Hold up. The best concert I've ever seen is real. Drake in person. And With, then Drake and Kanye, two yeah. monsters. Yeah, but it's it was like a versus like battle. A, did, you a a, did you go to a did you go to a K pop concert? Your front row though. Front no, you're, row you're, you're, you have the best seats in the house, Steve. <laughs> Steve, can you see Steve at a K pop concert? Yeah. <laughs> well, I got him. Wait, hold up. I didn't mean to interrupt, but I made something specifically for him. Uh oh, here we go. Let's take a little break from chatting with the boys, man. Cause listen. Is there something interfering with your happiness and preventing you from achieving your goals? Whatever it is, man, get out of your way, man. And my friends at BetterHelp will help you out, all right? They're going to match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional. Professionals. Counseling done securely online, all right? Um, The service is available worldwide. The world freaking wide. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling. Financial aid is also available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. All right. Visit their website, read their testimonials. Listen, they're the best there is in this space, man. Visit betterhelp.com slash cats. That's better H E L P dot com slash cats. Join over one million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp. They're recruiting recruiting additional f- counselors in all 50 states. That's crazy. This episode of King of the Sting is brought to you by BetterHelp. All right. And King of the Sting listeners and viewers get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash K-A-T-S. Listen, man, when it comes to healthcare, it's important to make sure you're getting your money's worth. All right. And that's where Crowd Health comes in. Crowd Health offers a more flexible, affordable healthcare option without the health hassle of insurance. So while you're shopping around, don't forget to head to joincrowdhealth.com slash fit to find out how Crowd Health can save you up to 40. 50, 60% off healthcare costs each year. It isn't health insurance, all right? It's a modern way to pay medical expenses. Crowd Health is a community of people who are tired of paying into a broken system, all right? Being in the Crowd Health community can save hundreds of dollars monthly and put thousands of dollars back in your pocket. It's flexible. It's simple. It's an app, man. You can scan your scan your bills, throw them away. Crowd Health takes it all from there, all right? Uh, it's a membership. Crowd Health gets rid of insurance middleman and passes the savings to its members. 100% of your monthly membership pays for actual healthcare cost, all right? Crowd Health is a able to offer amazing prices because of a community of health conscious members but for limited time King Sing listeners and viewers get their first month free all right after you've been a member crowd health will include a fitness wearable that's fun that's 30 days try risk free plus the fitness wearable just go to joincrowdhealth.com slash fit enter the code kats at sign up that's joincrowdhealth.com slash fit promo code kats all right uh, Crowd Health is not health insurance. It's a community powered alternative. Terms, conditions apply. What is, I'm going to ask you something. What is the thing he tells me the most? Steve blank. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> what do you got? Is that Steve Listen merch? 
Steve, you're not listening. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's <laughs> hilarious. That's why he's asking for your catchphrase earlier. You what just you kept buzzing this? him. <laughs> so shout out to my man Melody. That's yours. Yeah. It's great. You wear it so I so I could just stare at you and know that I'm not listening. Yeah, shout rest, out to and Melody. Time, in that episode, I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just do that every time. I feel like and Steve should wear it. Hopefully you got yeah, a size no, small. No, he's, that's, a, that's his size. Okay. Oh, I, no, I get it. But I would why, love why to go to. Why do I look so angry? Yeah, you look good. <laughs> a concert's you're watching not women what fight. It, it, it used to be like. Like, let's say back in the day, going going to see Led Zeppelin. Dude, that's something special. Oh you know yeah, what I mean? you ever been to a Travis Scott concert? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't want to die. Rare, I don't want to die. Yeah, that's like a USA. Head on a swivel, dude. <laughs> no, head on a swivel. <laughs> Nike's laced yeah, to the that max. That doesn't look fun. <sighs> oh, like, I disagree. Gasping for air, like. Oh. Well, I heard that the Kanye Drake concert was more a Kanye concert than a Drake concert. You know, you. That's what everybody's saying. So I'm. I like. I love Drake. <laughs> I love both of them, but I do so too. in my household, my brother's super pro Kanye. I'm super Drake. I like both of them, right? Yeah. Right. So for this, it was like, you know, let's say it was a versus battle, and I actually have some background on this. So Kanye did you? You forget his catalog? It's stupid. Yeah. yeah. But so how he, many albums? So has, he, no, no. You could say how many ton. albums has he done? A million. So he so he did like his hits, uh-huh. and then Drake came out and just did his new stuff. And uh-huh. I was like, well, one's playing Hall of Fame hits, the other's playing his new stuff. And I figured it out. Obviously, the people on Reddit figured it out. So Drake doesn't own his masters. And since that was on Amazon, he can't do his hits. Mm. He only owns his new stuff. Whoa. So since it's on Amazon, that's why he did only his How new shit. How do you know this stuff? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's you terrible. Know that. Oh, because the concert was recorded it's, and it's streamed. Like I watched it. I had FOMO for the first time in a long time. Uh, it was streamed <laughs> live on Amazon. Oh. Oh. Ugh. But they're both like in person. Or so he got Taylor Swifted. He got Taylor yeah. Swifted. So yeah. are we talking front row seats? Like where are the, the seats? best seats in the house? Best UFC. See that changes it then. Best UFC s- seats in the house. Best best well, okay, seats. let's talk about what's the last concert that you actually have gone to. You didn't say because I know the last concert I went to. Well, you why don't you? Uh, I'll think about it. You you do your, your the last concert I went to was a Justin Bieber concert. Nice. And I was sitting and in. Your girl forced you to go to that. No, no, yeah, no. That's I, your went, girl, I went man. because I know you know John. You don't know John. The Nelk Boys. I know Nelk Boys. You, but but you, you know John. Sh- 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 yeah, John Shashidi. Sh- yes. He used to be like he used to work with Bieber. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like he used to be like his handler type of thing, mm-hmm. like his go-to guy for stuff. So I went to the concert because of him. You know what I mean? And I've met Bieber many times. But I was sitting like. All right, take it easy. I was no, no, no. I was sitting like <laughs> Bieber's like right here. Yeah. You know, dick all up in your face. Yeah, yeah. Just like, and it was like you're just looking at everybody, just going. We're in this like VIP and all sort those of thing. TikTokers are viewing it from the yeah. phone, like idiots. But you know what was crazy? At this is at a time that he was going through some stuff. Because like I'm looking at him. He was sad panda, dude. Like not even singing the song. Is he like this? I, 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 what do you I, mean I, not I, singing the song? I'm telling you, man. He was see, just see, like, see, that's not a concert. They see yeah, the lip syncing. Then it was crazy. Milly but, Vanilli uh, shit. He just wasn't. He, he was going through when something. When Bieber's not going through something, but he's a beast. Oh, super talented. You seen yeah. him perform? Yes. Super you seen him perform? Talented. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah. look what's at her. going on here? That's, that's, that's Bieber, Bieber at the concert <laughs> Eric went to. Yeah. Well, who's that? But, but the thing Just is, someone. the thing is, I got love for that kid because think he's been famous for so long, man. He had things under a microscope. How did he make it again? YouTube? I forgot how yeah, he made it. Usher found him on YouTube. On Usher. YouTube, Usher found him on well, YouTube. He found him because he's super talented. Yeah. he's been talented Dude, since he's, he was nine years he's old. Stupid talented. No, but here's what happens. Here's what happens to someone like that. He's nine years old, and everybody tells him you're great. And he's like, oh man, no, I'm not great. I'm only nine. Then ten years old, you're great. Then eleven, you're great. <laughs> About 14, he was like, well, maybe, you know? And then yeah. 15, he was like, am I great? And then when he turned 18, he was like, I think I'm pretty great. And then everybody went, hold on, kid. Yeah. Slow it down. And you then they started to him. hate him. You feel bad for him. Yeah. And then he was like lashing out into the public guy. And then yeah. he's like trying to figure himself out. I and think he's, he's getting, figured it out he's now. Getting, he figured it out now. He's getting yeah. like tattoos and shit. Did he, is he on drugs? Is he doing drugs? Did he, he used get, to. I think he's sober now. I think he was. Now. Yeah, I think he's sober right, now. Right, right, right. Oh, the Pixies. That was the last concert. The Pixies? Started hanging out with Carl Pixies, Lentz. Yeah. Bieber. He got sober. Yeah, he's Carl good. Lentz. He's good now. For yeah. a little bit. He got married. He's good. You know what yeah. I mean? They seem to be happy. He's so I'm a fan. Yeah, yeah me too, super, man. Super, super fan of him. I love Bieber. But yeah, it went, and also I'm. What's the last concert? You probably went to some like. <laughs> <laughs> God smack or some shit. <laughs> some stupid oh, system of a <laughs> down. Everybody's trying to slam with you. Slam with a shot. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and they don't know what a teddy bear you are. You're like, hey guys. Yeah, damn, man. Let's relax. <laughs> 
Uh, Not my I, thick boy I, merch. I hate cra- <laughs> I hate crowded areas. So I don't go to a lot of concerts. I uh, think last concert. I, I mean, probably Drake in in uh, Fiddler's Green in Denver is probably the last one, man. Really? Yeah, I, I don't. I, I see. Hate I'm, you know, I'm not. And then also UFC. Obviously, I'm biased. I think people thought I would say UFC. The UFC because I fought it, and it was like I have great memories in the UFC. But yeah. when I entered that like arena and I see hear the crowd and the, I see the cage, I, I those smells it triggers me to horrible anxiety. What do you mean? Like smells? I, I can't even touch down in Vegas without being triggered. What does it smell really? like? Can you describe the smell? It's it smells like uh, fear. It smells like fear. Is it like just like you know in Gladiator and, when that guy's uh, oh, chained? Yeah. Oh, I just watched that movie. I just yeah. watched Gladiator. That's what it feels like. Oof. Like Russell Crowe. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's really really intense. So for me, it's really really intense. Is it the same way you get before stand up? How you get an adrenaline rush? No. If for stand up, I'm super excited. I can't so wait to get. So you're out not there. nervous at all. I'm nervous, but I'm more excited because I can control the narrative. So fighting, I can't control. I, I can't so control fighting much. is a lot more scarier. Like you're not like, even, oh, I might die. Not even well, close. Yeah, dude. not even close. How do you? Day. Now my question is, how <laughs> do you deal with that? How do you calm yourself down to get focused? Like you just trust in the process. Like all the training camp you've been in. You've That's been what I was about to say. You're con- it, it, now this is where it is similar. Because what Go he's ahead. saying is like you can't control it, but you 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 get confident in your skills because you've practiced so hard. I know it's the best version of myself right. that enters that octagon, and I put that trust in. Stand up, same, same thing. Stand up. You have to practice, practice, practice. Do it, do it. So you're confident when you get into the situation. So, so like like when I shot my thirty minute special in Dallas, right? I wasn't like I think my team because my team shot it right and we mm-hmm. sold it. My team was like, man, I thought you'd be more nervous. I'm like, why? Like I've been. This has been three years in the making, man. I know exactly what to hit. I know exactly what to do. I can control the narrative. When I shot my Showtime special, it's not like I knew I wasn't ready. So I was so nervous because you know, like you know mm-hmm. when you shoot specials or if you're doing a TV gear or something, you know if you're ready for it or not. Yeah. So and you knew backstage, is, you're like, oh no. this is For Showtime? Yeah. Yes. You yes. felt these mm-hmm. feelings yeah. of fear. Logan Brian had to give me like this long talk and oh, shit, my God. which is rare for me. Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. Were you shaking back? Like, were you? No, not shaking. Okay. Jesus Christ, dude. It's just a comedy okay. special. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Shaking. I was shaking so before. This I guy fought. never gets nervous. I was shaking before Steve, I fought Steve. Travis Brown. I know Steve acts like it was like, you know, in uh, Saving Private Ryan, like right before yeah. those things went down. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we're storming Normandy <laughs> yeah, or something. Yeah, he was like, yeah. it's the same thing. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, though, man. I mean, that must be nerve wracking, man. To The special Like fighting. the walk to the octagon. I always like try to put myself in their shoes. No, no. That the, must the, be the, scary. No, the walks. You're, once you, you hit know, the crowd. They play the music. And once you hit the crowd and the music plays, there's no turn back and it's just like here we go oh my the god the worst is waiting in the in the behind the the fucking drapes yeah. and you're and you're sitting there you hear the crowd and you're like what the fuck am i doing and then his team's behind oh, you oh no and you see him like yeah oh god like, yeah all right here we yeah. go you know Oof. it's so intense dude what, what about a ride what's the most exciting <laughs> part when, <laughs> when they announce your name and introducing on this corner you know like do you get excited when you do the face off and all that no, it's very rare I get excited. What I was, was your walkout song? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Eminem Square Dance. Oh, cool, boom, cool. Boom, boom, yeah, boom, yeah. boom, 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 people. Mm. So do, when you, hold on, one last question. So when you're out there, do you just black out? No. Or, <laughs> or do you, or do you Steve just. Steve just wakes up in the hospital. <laughs> <I know. laughs> After a USC fight, Steve just wakes up and it's <laughs> All you hear is. If I fought two years. I blacked out, guys. Did, did, uh, neck brace? Did I win? I know. Yeah. How did it go? Did I win? You know, both that, legs that are broken. Okay, <laughs> he yeah. got an arm bar. It's like, you know. Yeah. Like, nah, man. He threw you out of the cage, yeah. bro. First or time Or do you ever. have a game plan? You're like, okay, I'm going to jab There's him. There's a game plan. I'm going to go circle. There's do a, do a double leg. Uh, There's a whole Pin yeah, him there, to the fence. Okay, plan. but what, at what point, though, in the game plan... <laughs> Like, have you been in a fight where you were like, oh, this game plan ain't gonna work? Yeah, my lap. <laughs> like, what's the, one, the like? one after I retired, I was like, oh, he's too big for this shit, man. Yeah. No one thought this through. Yeah, like, you're like, oh, If man. you get hit with a big shot, does it, like, rattle you and you see stars and you're like, oh, no. It doesn't hurt. It's just like, uh, it's like. That probably a, gets you more It's focused. like a ringing. No, you're just Oh, like, there's a oh, real fuck. ringing. Yeah, and then a sense of like, oh, fuck. So it's like. It doesn't hurt. Wow. None of it hurts inside there. It's when you walk out, it fucking hurts. Oh, my Cause God. Because your adrenaline's so high. Like, you'll just hear a ring. You're like, I got clipped. God, dude. Oof. It's a weird hey, game. Hey, props to you, man. You did it. When you look back what at your fights, yeah. you ever look back at your fights and then look at it and be like, what was I doing? Or, oh, dude. Like, I, well, I got my son wanted to see him, so I was showing him uh, fights. I went on Fight Pass and looked at all my fights, and I was like, I don't even know that dude. Right. What the oh fuck was he God. doing? 
what were you doing? But then it, it triggers I look like at my old sets like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Then it triggers memories of like that week and what happened and like that training camp. Oh and it's crazy, God. man. That's insane. Yeah, it's so strange. What a ride. God. I blame uh, Brian Callen for losing a ton of money on uh, you during the Andre Arlovsky, uh, Arlovsky fight. He wouldn't engage, but yeah. he just had you so hyped up that 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 camp. And yeah, he I, did. I, I believe Brian, but now now I know. Oh, Brian hypes everything up. Yeah, he hypes everything up. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That Arlovsky one was tough, man. It, it was a bummer. Well, because we were training partners. So when you know each other, oh, there's no. like this weird... It, it's terrible when training partners fight because I knew what he was good at. He knew what I was good at. So we really didn't do that. So then you get this weird, awkward dance. Oh, no. And then we're we're friends. Oh. So then, like, I could tell, like, when I was against holding him against the cage, I like, he was like, yeah, let's rest here. And then when he held me, I was like, yeah, let's chill here for a <laughs> You guys talk? I was just about to say. Wait, you guys talk? Oh, no, we don't man. talk. So oh, it's WWF. Said- you no, ain't shit. No, you don't talk. <laughs> you ain't shit. No, you don't talk, but you know, like, if a guy didn't want to be oh, against the telepathy. cage. it's telepathy. It's like telepathy. It's just no, like- they were holding each other. Come on, dude, chill. <laughs> nah. 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 They're not slow dancing, motherfucker. Did you tell them, you're like, come on, man, what you doing? Come on, man, what you doing? Dude. What the fuck no, are you doing, No, but this is telepathy. Bro? You know. But I, I definitely beat him, and then after he, in the locker room, came up to me, he was like, I'll give you my half my payment you know what i didn't well, win he that said fight that, you, you, know, we, you know what we need to do is what we need to do is we need to do a fight companion but watching his fights oh that'd be cool and then just talk <laughs> yeah. about your fights yeah, what, what was happening that'd yeah. be fun that'd be fun <laughs> would, it, would it really be fun for you yeah yeah it'd be fun it yeah. was. i got some stories right. yeah, that'd be great. especially like the it, brazil against big knob that's how we should yeah. do that set that up I'll, that, we'll do that for sure yeah we'll do that fun i want to do that like when I was getting ready to fight Big Nog, and I was like, man, I was like sleeping. I mean, that's Biggest a fight of my life. Uh, I was Nagara, I'm legend. in Brazil, and I'm like, man, it smells like like toxins in here. Well, like it smells like like there's fumes in here. So what they, you know, Brazil, it's like Mike fighting Michael Jordan in Chicago. Oh. So what Brazil did is they backed up the trucks into my green room. What? So all the fumes went into my green room. What? So I was oh, like disqualification. So I felt so sick. Oh so sick. man, dude, you hearing this, Nick? <laughs> Chin, <laughs> yes, disqualification. We're here. We're here. I'll write a letter. Yeah. That's okay. cheating. That's fucked up, man. And then I, that too, uh, I'll finish on this, then we'll wrap up my fucking UFC story. Oh, we love it, though. So then before the fight, you're fighting Nogueira, right? And I was the favorite. I was supposed to knock his old ass out. Mm-hmm. So he's anonymous, like really known for this uh, soccer league, and soccer's huge in Brazil. Yeah. yeah. The These two Russian, uh, I'm sorry, these two Brazilian gangsters sat, when I was at dinner, just sat down. Full suit, sat down, don't speak any English, but my jiu-jitsu coach is fluent in Portuguese. Uh-huh. So he's talking to me, he's like, hey man, just so you know, these guys are like Brazilian mafia. And they want you, they, they have a jersey for you. And when you knock out Nogueira, you put this jersey on, they're going to give you $80,000 cash. I'm like, yeah, say less, dude. Fuck yeah, I'll do that. He's like, so they're going to come tonight before the fight. They're going to put the 80 grand of cash in the, in the little locker that's oh in your hotel God. room, uh-huh. but only they know the code. So after you knock him out, they're going to call your room and give you the code. I'm like, fuck yeah, this is dope. I lose the fight. I'm back in my room. My fucking eyes out to here. My yeah. whole family's around me. Uh-huh. Knock on the door. Douche, douche, douche. It's them to come get my dad's money. Like, Who the fuck is that? Yeah. I was like, I, I don't know. Answer the door, dad. Answer it's those two fucking just oh muscle mafia God. mafiosos. And they go, we're so sorry. And do, 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 take the cash. Oh, my. And they go, goodness. but you can keep the jersey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's like a movie, man. Yeah. Oof. Holy smokes. I'll probably frame that jersey. Damn. You got to wear that to an episode. Yeah, I will. Yeah, for sure. To the fight campaign. My dad has it. I went to the fight campaign. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of upcoming episodes, uh, send in Christmas related submissions and like end of year, New Year's related submissions for the next two weeks. Yeah, send in worst gift you ever got for Christmas. Oh, I like that. Yeah, or try worst, and beat my or the gift. worst gift you've ever given for Christmas. Yeah. Yes. That's good. Should we do Secret Santa? Yeah. We, 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 we do it every, we, we've done it every year. We do a little white elephant. Oh, so next week we do. Uh, Christmas. Secret Santa next? Uh, we'll do a white elephant. We'll talk about it after. Uh, yeah. It's usually a little, like, jokey, cheap gift, and then we'll Oh, I already got game. mine. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not your gift, dude. That, that, that would have been money, gift. actually. You just ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great, but now it's ruined. Uh, this guy's looking for some relationship advice, though. What's up, boys? Sammy J back again. I need some relationship advice. A little bar stool hat? Girl of two months. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Get along. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I respect her. Big problem though, drinking. I'm talking like we pick up a bottle of Tiger Thick Whiskey, crush it, have a good time. <laughs> then it's kind of like a different person at the end. Oh, Questions, nightmare. Like, it just doesn't make sense. It's only two months in. 
what do I do? Run, brother. Go well, ahead, Eric. Go ahead, Eric. Run, run, brother. Ahead, right away, I say this. Oh, is he still going? Know. Well, I say right away, follow your gut. Like, if you feel like something's up and you don't feel like this is right. Two months like, in, You feel though? like it's out of... No, no. I'm saying... I'm feeling... It's already... He already feels uncomfortable. No, I'm with you. But two months... Like, two months in, this is time to fucking eject, Bubba. No, like, no. Well, yeah, like, right. Like, you're a year in. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you already know you're, you're not comfortable yeah, with this. Yeah, this ain't right. You so know my it's not right. My, my first suggestion is to say something about it. Like, do we have to drink all the time? Because she might be like, this is what I do. I, ha- I This is how I, I need to get turned up. She might have a drinking problem. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you need to find out by just being upfront and just being like, I have a problem with us drinking so much like this. Yeah, and I, I don't, don't like who you become yeah, when you start like drinking. Who, like, Can then, we limit to like one or two drinks? Yeah. And if she's like, I don't want to do that, then you know you got to get out because it's only going to get worse. Way He's worse. already uncomfortable. He already don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. Handsome so, like, dude. Get, there's get, a billion, get out of that. Yeah, there's get a out. billion fish But, but in the give sea. her the chance, though. Yeah. I'm saying give the opportunity. I would talk to her, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Say, be, get your intentions. Be but out if she's bad enough, I'll put up with some addiction. Yo, holidays are here, and the holidays can be hectic, but thank God for HelloFresh. They keep things simple with recipes that cut back on meal prep and cleanup so you can spend less time in the kitchen and more quality time with your friends and family. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from every single week. Whatever diet you're on, vegetarian, we got you covered, man. Calorie smart, gourmet options, providing plenty of variety so you never get sick of it. All right? Listen. The holidays are nuts, man. So you got to act right now. And uh, freaking HelloFresh is here to help you out, man. And what are they going to do for you? I'm glad you act. asked. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 14King. Use the code 14King for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. That is HelloFresh.com slash 14King. Use the code 14King for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. All right? Uh, HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. Listen, the winter's here, and the flu's popping up, and sickness is popping up, and you're working out, and you're dehydrated, and you're 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 like, well, it's cold out, so listen, I don't need to hydrate. You're wrong, man. You're wrong. Listen, the flu season is in full swing, and hydration is a priority. It is key, and that's where Liquid IV comes in to help you out, man. Liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. All right? All you do, I put in um, a little eight ounces of water before I work out. It's delicious, and I feel fantastic. Again, liquid IV hydrates faster than water alone. Uh, Contains essential vitamins. All right? More vitamin C than an orange. We got potassium, more potassium than a banana. It's healthier than those sugary drinks you can buy at the gym. All right? And liquid IV, they also, they're here to change the world. The company is donating 4 million servants in response to COVID-19. Products are being donated to hospitals, first responders, food banks, veterans, active military. Liquid IV has donated over 11 million servings worldwide. All right? So it's a good cause. And you stay hydrated. Grab your favorite Liquid IV flavors. Mine's watermelon. Nationwide at Walmart. Or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code KATS at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you get better hydration today. All right? Get better hydration right now. Use promo code KATS at liquidiv.com. Uh, so we're, we a couple weeks ago, it's been a while now, we had Alabama submit. She wanted to play the dating game. Ooh, uh, she was bad. Find a l- yeah, let's see connection. what's up with it. Yeah, so uh, Roll let's Tide. see what's up with it. Yeah, I hate Alabama. Up with it. Yeah, well, I forgot which one this one is. Let me Ooh, see. She, you'll uh, remember. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I can't wait. She was uh, the pretty bl- blonde. We're going to bring her up. Let's uh, get it done, baby. On, we're going to bring her up on Zoom <laughs> and then uh, look at some of her submissions. She's going to pick three of them. Yeah, I then, love this. You'll remember it. She had them houses. Woo! Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they, oh you yeah. You don't remember? You don't remember? Okay. Like, super cute Ronda Rousey. <laughs> Alabama? Yes. Is this live? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, is this live? live, Stevie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so What's we, up, girl? How you up, doing? Alabama? <laughs> Good. How are you guys? We're chilling. We're good. We're good, good. Alabama. Good. A lot better now. Good. It's real cock fest in mm-hmm. here. Let's get you locked in. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> We're going to get you locked up with somebody. Let's yeah. figure it out. All right. Fingers crossed. We'll how, see. How is the uh, de- is your, your hometown's where? Uh, Salem, Oregon. Ooh, okay. Oh, so a lot of soy boys up there. So for you, oh, it's gotcha. yeah, yeah, very low energy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hunting. Mm-hmm. Yep, Democratic. Uh, Mm -hmm. So for you, how's the dating scene been lately before we get into this? 
Um, not that great, but I also haven't really been trying because like you said, they're all soy boys out here. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> your guys' fans blew me up. I bet. You guys have some wild fans. Yeah. <laughs> Seven were my troll accounts. Yeah. But yeah. Like yeah. how, yeah. how do you, how do you normally date though? What's your normal, are, are you a, are, yeah, you a your da- are you a dating app person or what do you normally do? Um, I've tried dating apps before and it's not bad. It's just not great. Um, So I guess that's the route that I take. Um, People in my hometown, I'm kind of like over that. They're everyone's like grew up here and is still here, so it's just not great. Um, So I guess dating apps is basically what I do um, because I'm not going to run into someone at the grocery store, you know. No, you never (laughs) know if you're you're open to it. I know. Have you have you been on a date from like someone DMing you or anything like that? Like, don't a lot of people meet Um, on social media these days, or? No, no. Um, some people will like slide in your DMs and stuff, but not worth um, it. Creeps. No, yeah, they're creeps. Would you <laughs> some be? Of them. So some you, of them are nice, but what, Steve's got a question. Yeah, Go would, ahead. Steve. Would you be open to dating um, Christian or Kyle? <laughs> because I mean, I'm open to dating anybody. I guess. Do Do you have a height you know? requirement? Like, what's yeah, your style? These like, dudes if, are studs here. Like, who's well, your celebrity crush? <laughs> just so we can kind of get a visual of what we're looking for here. Um, well, my celebrity crush is probably Ryan Reynolds because yeah, he, obviously he's hot and yeah, his personality. Too. I love like funny. Indian humor. Yeah, funny yep. guys. Yeah. Yeah, but it's funny that you mentioned how he looks first. <laughs> well, I got you one know, more question. Are you open right? to dating <laughs> ethnic guys? Yes. Yeah. Well, Latinos. <laughs> Go, sure. Yeah. Asians. I don't discriminate. <laughs> yeah, I don't discriminate. <laughs> okay. Black guys. Are we black into black guys? guys? Indian yep. guys. Yep. Sure. Yeah, she's like, okay. are you going to go through the whole thing? <laughs> I know, right? He's, he's gonna be, he, Steve's still going. Samoan, <laughs> Portuguese, <laughs> Native American, <laughs> Navajo tribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like 20 minutes hey, later. Alabama, like, just ignore all of them. <laughs> okay. Okay. So is this guy live or he's just submitting? Uh, these are just some of her submissions. Uh, Alabama hasn't seen these and she, she can't see them right now. She's only picking. Three guys based off what they say. Just their voice? Yeah. Alabama, is there a, are you a tall girl? I'm 5'5". Five five. Oh, okay. Okay, that's hey perfect. Guys. Little yeah. shorty. All right. All right, little Hello. short short queen. What? These guys are 5'4", five 5'5", five five too. Now, hey, Stevie. Steve, hey, we, got we get you. it? Yeah. Okay. We get it? Okay. Let's get to We're the guys. We're trying to find some yeah, real okay. love. Yeah, let's get to the profile. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Steve, I'll Steve, shut Steve, my mouth. Steve, Steve, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Show them the shirt. All right, hit it, What's Nick. What's up, guys? This is my <laughs> submission video for Bama Gillette's Fine Ass. Yep. Ooh. What a fucking name, by the way. Okay. My Cussing. name's Derek Mann, 6'3", 200. Perfect amount of man for her. All right. Uh, I'm a funny, outgoing type of guy. Low energy. You know, I like all that outdoor stuff, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you know, I like that she included about being able to give each other shit, because what's a relationship without a little roasting going on? I am from the East Coast. I'm from New York, Pennsylvania. Ooh, too far. Iowa. Absolutely come across the states for that West Coast hitter, baby. So I'll let your boy. I think you might got something. He's a little too cool for school for my yeah, and, and What do you like, mean? And, what do you mean by that? And then and like guy? his eyebrow is like four inches away from his eye. So it's <laughs> a little weird for me. <laughs> and they're separated very far. <laughs> Like his eyebrows, like well, I, I don't <laughs> like that he's like this though. So his eyebrows are like a hairline. That's yeah. just high as hell. <laughs> Eric, dude, time stamp that. Uh, no, that's called shaming. That, he's shaming know. him, dude. Time stamp that. He's shaming yeah, him, dude. Eric has a point. That's not I, right, dude. I, and I, Whatever you're I, doing is not right. I don't like how cool he was for school. You know what I'm saying? Like he's like this the whole time. You know, like what's, what's up, up with your girl? fine ass? What's up, your fine yeah. ass? I'll uh, fly he all He's confident. Brendan, he's confident. Oh, He's I'm, confident. All right, let's All see right, the let's next see, guy. Let's see the other this guy. This guy looks friendly as shit. Yeah, I already kind of like him. How you doing, Alabama? My name is Peter, 31 years old, from Albany, Oregon, 20 minutes away from where you are. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh. A little bit about me. I'm the youngest of <laughs> six in my family, so I know what it's like to be shit on. Been told I was adopted my whole life. Okay. My <laughs> mom tells me I'm adopted. There's going to be some she issues there. On the side of the road. They picked me up. <laughs> so I have a fortune cookie at an Asian restaurant. So they gave me away. You know, all the shit, you know. So I know how to give shit back. Uh, love spending time with my family, my friends, you know. No girls never really give me the the opportunity to take them out. You know, I've been rejected my whole life. What's a diamond in the rough? All right, dude. dude. Alabama's a diamond in the rough, and that diamond's rough. <laughs> yeah. But I think there's some potential yeah, there. Is, there's something going yeah, on this there. this is you if you let yourself go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Like yeah. if you want a desert deserted island for like yeah. six, for like yeah. two years. Yeah, desert. <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't a know. deserted this island. If there's is just being donuts. so mean, <laughs> like whatever he's, he's doing, <laughs> he's being so mean to these hey, guys. Is, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Didn't he just say? He, he knows should. how to roast. Yeah, yeah. yes, I know. I'm yeah. I can't. I yeah. can't. Oh, okay. I, 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 <laughs> he looks Korean or no, Chinese. I, I, I like him better than the first. He looks like he's half. <laughs> he's half. He's half. He's half Alabama. Korean. I like him better than the first guy. He seems. He seems yeah. nice. Give him a shot. No, this Alabama. guy is nice. That's what we're give him a him. shot. It, the, here's my problem, Nick. With all this, like <laughs> what? What? <laughs> like what? Alabama's a straight smoke show, bro. <laughs> and you got this. Yeah. Oh no! Yes, yeah, oh, no. Christian Bale's lined up. Wow. Wait, deal? you know what? Wait, can I tell you he something right now? Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah, time to roll that, dude. They're no, shaming no, no. all what the contestants. Just, Steve, what he just said is worse than anything I said. <laughs> no. Okay, your whole tone oh, was just 100%. like, man. I'm trying to help. Okay, out here we go. Now. Here we go. Here we go. Here, this guy looks this handsome. This one's all right, right? <clears throat> Nothing. Let's hear him out. Let's see what he says. Let's hear him out. You guys are scaring me. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Alabama. You're good, Alabama. I'm trying to look out for you, though. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it. His right. eyebrows are at least a normal length. <laughs> Here we go. A with normal this guy. distance. He talks out quiet, so. <laughs> okay. What's dude. up, bro? Just getting on out like that. So, my name's Nicholas. I'm 25 years old. I also live in Salem, Oregon. And what made me interested was a lot of things that you said I can relate to as well. I like to travel. My sense of humor is really sarcastic and knows no bounds. We both seem to have a good sense of humor since we both listen and watch the same podcast. Um, I like to play and watch sports, not trying to brag, but my fancy football team, Multiple Scorgasms, is number one in my league right now. I'm six foot five. Well, Six four and three quarters, but six five sounds a lot better. Um, I work in youth development, working with kids is my passion and being a positive role model to them like okay. what I had growing up. Okay. And I'm um, sorry I, I like keep looking guy. at my notes. I just want to make sure I'm on track. I'll be honest and show you what it says. Don't talk about boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I, he's my favorite. I told you. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's cool. cool. You could have dressed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. You saw the T-shirt and you were like, "Come on, man!" Yeah, I was like, "Come on, man!" Ooh, All right, here we go. We okay, got we here, got a baby. blue collar fella yeah. here. <laughs> what up, Brendan? What up, Theo? Shout out to Bama. Uh, this is Vinny out of Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm a 32 year old single dad. I work for Caterpillar during the day, and I'm a bouncer at night. Uh, like Bama, I'm sick of the dating life and no commitments from anybody. I'm looking for something serious I can take to the next level. Uh, I come from a big Italian family, uh, real down to earth, loud people, uh, and I'm interested is, in that fancy face this, you got. This is Christian. It's so if you're yeah. interested, <laughs> holler at me. Yep. Gang, gang, back home. Oh, oh. I'm not, he's I'll tell you why I don't like him up top. Why? Yeah. He didn't say hi to me or Steve. <laughs> so, <laughs> bye. <laughs> he's got to go. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, bye, Felicia. Oh. And, and then I didn't like his poofy hair. <laughs> <laughs> he's a solid Hello. dude. He's a blue collar dude, though. Yeah. Uh, Alabama, you interested in being a stepmom, though? Um, I have dated guys with kids, so I'm not opposed. Okay. Mm. All, All right. right. That's not a deal breaker. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not a deal breaker. Okay, we'll watch uh, two more and she can then pick three. This guy gives a very Unabomber vibe. <laughs> 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 Hello, Alabama. My wait, wait, wait. Hold on wait. one second. Hold on. We got to ask her one question. Are you into oh, face? No. Are you into facial hair? Yes. It just. I mean, is it like a full like? <laughs> yeah. <dinosaur laughs> full, like, We're yeah. not gonna answer, but um, damn. <laughs> but that's gonna be a deal I mean, if, if, if Drake's beard's over here and Duck Dynasty's <laughs> over here, he's more over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot. Are you a ZZ Top fan? <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> <like> a, <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> just want to throw that out. <laughs> this guy looks like this guy looks like he smells like hemp. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> no yeah. It looks like nobody's he, cool. It, no, it yeah. looks like he put his finger in an electric socket no. and hey, his let beard him wig. talk. Dude, give him a yeah. chance. Let him talk. <laughs> This give is, him a chance. He might be a real man, good we're person. We're monsters. Though. We yeah. are monsters. Give him a chance. I need some in a video on here, man. Yeah. You gotta go ahead. You gotta like, give up him a for. chance, man. She's like, oh shit, everybody saw you. This is this is Patrick. <laughs> Hello, Alabama. My name is Patrick. I currently live in Windy, Wyoming. I turned 31 in March. I know a few years older than you. Um, I was at work listening to the podcast, and when I heard your voice, my heart immediately started to melt. <laughs> When I got home, I put it on YouTube and come to find out, Diamond. you were flat out gorgeous. Yeah. I'm sure you will have a plethora of suitors 
and a copious amount. Oh, uh, check out the vocabulary on Bob. Knight in shining armor, which makes sense. But I thought I'd send this audition or resume in, anyways. Ah, I like uh, the guy. I love the outdoors. I, know. I love sports. I just wish you know what? Look like that. <laughs> Absolutely love music. I wish you'd shave the beard. Fall, so yeah. I love to laugh, and I love to attempt to make people laugh. I have a huge heart, and I'm an old school helpless romantic. Yeah, I like this guy. Uh, you yeah, know what? Yeah. He's my favorite. I know. You know what it is? He's articulate. Take, no, this he's guy's articulate. My favorite. Yeah, he's articulate. Yeah. Vocabulary he's like, was lit. You know, and he's also uh, like uh, uh, he has sweet eyes. Yeah, yeah. He, he said that he he approached His it. His personality in a very, was great. He was very respectful, but you know, I don't know. If Maybe he'd like, shave that beard. Before if he the shave that beard, it would. I don't know. He's a witness he, protection. He's yeah. like a dime piece. I mean, okay, this guy's pretty dimey. Okay. Ooh, we got competition here. Except for that shirt, but go on. Let's see. This is Dylan. But yeah, like that other guy. I mean, the beard's temporary. Like he's living the single life, he's just letting it go. I'm sure he'd shave for Alabama. Maybe it's like he's a co- maybe it's like a COVID beard thing, you know? Yeah. What would be more romantic yeah, I got a than COVID him setting beard. Yeah, yeah. Bag of his hair? <laughs> <laughs> bag of his beard. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> Let's see what this King guy. of the Sting. What up, Eric and Stevie? Thank you. Like him, Brendan. <laughs> you know, my heart goes out to Theo Vaughn. I I hope he recovers soon. You know, I heard he got bit by a gay dude. So <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, we'll see. I'm sending this in, man. I need to. To be linked up with Alabama. You know what I'm saying? Best I live energy out here, by far. Summit County, Colorado. Um, it, it, it's pretty tough, dog, you know, especially for a hardworking man. I'm a welder, uh, full time, you know, you can see with the high vis green. Uh-huh. That makes sense. But uh, the yes, thing sir. is, we got a saying here in Summit County you didn't lose your girlfriend, you just lost your turn. Uh-huh. Anyway, I'm looking for the real deal. I want the, the white picket fence, the, the wife, the kids. Everything, dog. So, you know, please consider me um, for Alabama. And as far as mortgage goes, girl, real estate up here, pff, we're talking Vail, Keystone, Breckenridge, Aspen. You know, you'd it's be making nice that big bucks. I, I, I'll be barely contributing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not really, though. Just saying welders, we know how to do it big. So anyway, uh, consider me, guys. Dylan out here in Summit County, Colorado. Mm-hmm. Colorado okay. boys yeah, is the best. Like him too. Too. He's by far like the best looking. Too. No, no, he's by this too. Confident. I like I like that. But, but not humble. cocky. But not too cocky. Yes. He also said, like, hey, I want you to move here with me. Yeah. yeah. Which you know? is he was like, and, and, and he and he presented it like, yo, you are, you know, you could sell houses here. Mm-hmm. And like I, I like that guy. He was yeah. cool. I like that guy. Yeah, right. I liked I liked him too. Definitely best look in Alabama. Uh, no. uh, last one of the <laughs> Thank six. You. All right. What up, King and the Sting? It's your boy Grayson coming at you from Austin, Texas. Mm-hmm. Right now, I'm learning how to be a professional chef. Ooh, ratatouille! Um, but before that, I used to live in Salem, Oregon. So this is for Alabama. Um, I used to work at Starbucks, and I actually used to make you coffee. Uh, oh. I don't forget that oh. name. Ooh. Um, so hopefully now I can make you dinner. Ooh, all uh, right. Maybe it's okay. Um, so. Why date me? I am adventurous. I'm funny. I could roast the shit out of you. Um, and I already know your coffee order. So maybe what you is have it? a nice night in, some pasta, maybe some wine. Um, if you're interested, I'm your man. Let me know. See, they're getting He's better. Still, you know what? The last yeah. three. This guy's good. Cool. I like the last three. This guy's can good. We, can we see all the pictures again so we can like... <laughs> <laughs> you remember sure. the first yeah, thing. You remember. This was Darren. Eyebrows gotta go. Ow. Eyebrow no. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that to Alabama. This is Peter. He would, nice. he would treat her like a fucking oh, queen. A queen. But he's, yeah. he's really out kicking his coverage. Here's Nicholas. Nicholas was our first. He was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nicholas is cool. Yeah, Vinny. Nicholas. Vinny, uh, he didn't power. he didn't say hi to us, so I don't I don't, <laughs> I don't like I don't like the too much hair product <laughs> for a for, for a blue collar guy. Patrick, great heart. This yeah, guy's got a, a good he's heart. A good guy. Sweet, yeah, he's sweet. A sweet. He's just a he good, needs to stay good, away from good electric submissions. sockets. Yeah. And Dylan. Dylan's Dylan. by far my favorite. And then the chef. And the chef. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the chef's last, quality and, uh, too. Crazy. Any the from our hometown. The last two. So, so three guys you want to. So if it was me, it'd be this guy, Dylan, and the last guy. The last guy. Yeah, the last guy. Yeah. Beard boys out. Yeah, I just don't. I don't think she's gonna go for that. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't either. So what? What do you think, Alabama? Which three? Um, I think the last three too. Yeah, okay. for sure. So I'm. Mi- I want to know if the guy knows my coffee order still. Cause me too. <laughs> me too. Because I was like, well, tell us what it was, dude. Yeah. yeah. How do we find that out? All right, we're bringing him in. Oh shit, we're talking yeah, about yeah. him. I guarantee spot. you, he doesn't know it, but still, okay, it was a see. sweet gesture. Let's see. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, he's doing work. Oh, yeah, he's, oh, I love it. He's mid-welding. I like it. That would have been cool if he was like, <laughs> he was like, like what up, girl? Wait, is this live, Nick? This, these are, this, this yeah. is okay. live, Doug. Oh, damn. What up, fellas? What up? What's uh, up, dog? Chilling. Colorado represent, going? homie. Going? How's Colorado, buddy? Uh, It's cold, bro. We just got another, like, foot last Friday, and Oof, things are gearing up for ski season. I'm in Keystone right now. Okay. Love Keystone. Yes, sir. Uh, the guy on the bottom right, was he in the... Uh... Yeah, that's easy Top. Does she see uh, them? Uh, yeah, no. she can, she oh, can she see, can see now. them now. Okay. So, Bama, you can oh, see yeah, them? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see when they talk, yeah. <laughs> it's too late okay. now. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah. How's it laughs> oh, if you, if you, if you switch, are you on a laptop or a cell phone? Cell phone. Uh, I, th- there might be something where you press gallery view, and then you can see everyone. Yeah, you need to see time. gallery view. A gallery. Oh, oh. She can go to gallery. Oh, hold on. Uh, all right, so we'll uh, talk to these guys one at a time, ask them questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, welcome, Dylan, Patrick, and Vinny. Dylan, no, Patrick, and Vinny. Oh, yeah. Patrick, there we go. And- What's good? What's up, what up? fella? How you yeah, doing, man? How's, how's Austin treating you? Good. Oh, man, it's so much fun. Okay. Nice. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where to go with that. Uh, do we have specific <laughs> questions we want to ask them, like dating, dating? Yeah. Uh, Alabama, you want to fire off the first question? Yeah, what do you want to do? Then we'll um, take it from there. Sure. Go my around the horn. Questions. Yeah, yeah. One of one one question for each. So you can okay, the, the same question, question for each. Yeah. It's for Grayson. Do you remember my coffee order? I'm very curious. It was no like chance. uh it was like uh okay, I don't know. Cold brew, right? Cold brew? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh cold shit, cold he got it. Well, he did he did get it. Yeah, he got it. He said that's cold a, brew. There you go. Well done. That's oh, not a good. Oh. I don't. That. Yeah, because he that could have said a macchiato. Good. You know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> to fill Vil- Vinny and Patrick in, or Dylan and Patrick in, he used to be her barista uh, before he moved away. in her hometown. Uh, before he moved okay, to Austin, right. yeah, yeah, so but she doesn't. Right on. Yeah. Apparently, no. I remember. <laughs> and he's now a chef. Man, tight move. All right. Nice, All right. Yeah. Next, Alabama. Um, Dylan, are you opposed to moving to Oregon? Because you did Ooh. mention moving to Colorado. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I just got back to Colorado. Um, I lived here for six years, and then I had to take care of some family stuff in, in Florida. I was there for two years, and I literally just moved back um, on so, October 1st no. to Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> so your boy signed that one-year lease. <laughs> He's tied down for a year. Yeah. All right. So no, uh, yeah, <laughs> hard pass right now. But we'll re- figure it out. It's relatively close. I mean, yeah. that's your favorite. See, yeah, Brendan's favorite bad. got a minus one yep, already. Yep, got it. Yeah, yep. <laughs> it's tough. Hey, TIA <laughs> is a big airport, bro. Patrick, I have a serious question, and don't take this the wrong way. Ask it. Would you ever get rid of the beard? Ah, uh, fear ask. Yeah, definitely. This was only uh, really for a character. So, yeah, this is new to me, actually. Oh, oh were you oh. playing Charles Manson? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. True. So true. Or are you Pretty preparing much, for really. to be Pretty Jesus much. in a Christmas play? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? You know are you playing I mean? Charles Manson on Mine Hunters? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. No, it looks good, though, dude. I like that fucking sweater, too, though, man. It's cute. Mm-hmm. Right? Holiday special. Yeah, of course. Honestly, this is only about two and a half. Well, a year and a half, to be honest with you. Oh, that's with a you. long time. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 So this is new to me. So, of course. All right, fellas. Cool. Let's go around the horn. What was the last date you went on? How'd it go? What'd you do? Let's start with oh, Dylan. Got one. Go ahead. So the last date I went on. Uh, so, like, you get, the cool bars are up in Round Rock. So, like, that's, like, the real cowboy bars. Like, it's not, like, hipster, like, in Austin. Like, 6th Street you're talking about? Not, yeah. So Outside there. there. From Dirty Six. Yeah, you got to go up north, like, where it's, like, the real bars. And uh, I ended up just getting too drunk, and I had to call an Uber. So You're trying to sell night. yourself, man. Well, he's just saying his last <laughs> date, though. Did you, did you throw up? So he's terrible on a date. That's what we know now. <laughs> no, no, I, did, I, I didn't puke, though. I didn't puke, You just got so. too hammered. Probably nervous. It's a win, yeah. Yeah. And then where did you meet that date at? Was it a dating app? We're talking about... Instagram sending those DMs. Oh, no. I just walked up to her. I saw her at the mall. And I was like, hey. Oh, I like that. Very 1990s. Yeah. I dig it. Very old yeah. school. That works. Very, very old school. 90s. Yeah. No, no, I'm with it. School. All right, fellas. What was your last date? The other two? 
Uh, so first of all, my last day was a situation where I had met her at the bar that I work at. And we went to this place uh, in Los Angeles that um, is a, a record listening party, basically. And it's a shared experience. And this DJ, different DJs show up each week. Sounds and, nice. Um, so we sat and listened to this uh, DJ perform all these different uh, um, songs that really inspired him. And that was a fantastic uh, evening, listening to all those uh, good day. songs. And the Pop uh, Perfect Griffith Park, I know it sounds a little cheesy, but we laid out a blanket and watched the stars. And this was the first time in a long time anything like that happened. But it, was, uh, it, it worked well. It and then well. and then Austin didn't work too well. What happened? Uh, you guys aren't dating anymore, yeah? They wrapped up the night uh, by killing Sharon Tate. To yeah. be honest with you, I'm not even going to lie. Um, she was in an open relationship. And uh, it, after uh, we had a few experiences, basically, um, she went back to her uh, full-on relationship because uh, she didn't want to break the happy home, so to speak. Makes sense. Oh, yeah. so, you, so you were a side yeah. piece. <clears throat> Exactly. I was totally a side piece. <laughs> <laughs> totally a side piece. <laughs> totally a side piece. Uh. I, know, I, didn't, I don't know if I felt so comfortable about it, but honest to God, the whole date of it all, like the, I mean, yeah, music is great. So uh, something like that is phenomenal. And um, yeah, it was, it was nice. Now, let me ask you and this. I we, know we spoke about the outdoors. Yeah. So. Were, were you guys uh, doing drugs when you're laying on your backs <laughs> and watching the stars? No, no. Uh, That's a shame. On, nice. Um, yeah, no. Uh, shoot, we were drinking actually a little bit at the record party, but uh, no drugs. That's a nice date, my man. Shit, yeah. you take me out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dylan. Right, Dylan, what do you got, bud? So I was actually uh, I was at the show uh, that Joe Rogan caught COVID at in Tampa. Um, I I had a a, a friend of mine. Um, we went and saw him and Tony Hinchcliffe and and Laura Bites. Um, and it really wasn't her cup of tea. Um, and she was actually a couple years younger than me as well. I'm, I'm 28. She was like 23, 24. That's tough. Kind of spent yeah. the whole night drinking and partying. And, <laughs> um, you know, I was, I, I wanted to hear, you know, the, the new hours and stuff. So, um, we just left it as friends, uh, you know, kind, kind of that one, one of those deals, but Joe put on a great show. That's, Joe a, Bauer. that's a good date though. It's mm -hmm. a good date. Yeah. She just doesn't appreciate it. All right, Alabama. It's a, it's a cruel world. Eliminate one. And then we'll ask the last two, a couple more it's questions. A cruel world. Oh, I oh like it, all three of them. This is hard. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to eliminate Patrick. Sorry, Patrick. All I do good. Like sweater. Cheers. Merry Christmas, everyone. Patrick, Merry Christmas, man. Patrick. You're a catch, man. Yeah, keep you're a good dude. Yeah, keep, keep doing those going sick on those dates, good dates, man. man. Yeah, yeah, keep doing the goddamn thing. Yeah. yeah, you got great energy. Yeah, hope you get the role, man. Good luck. Uh, yeah, mad respect. Yeah, no, we got it. But maybe oh, next sweet. But maybe next time, don't do the sweet, the sweater and beard. Just oh, pick I, one. No, I dig it. I dig it. <laughs> Ooh, I thought it was passive and it worked for the occasion, you know. So yeah. Oh, no, I dig true. it, dude. Like don't it. listen to. Don't let Eric bring you down, man. That looks fly. Me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Man, you motherfucker. I can, say, can we re, can we replay the things you were saying? You're a monster. First you're I said it looks monster. like Charles Manson. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, I said it looks like Manson. Fuck Good off, job. <laughs> okay. Alabama, do you have a question loaded for these two? Another one? Oh gosh, I don't know. Um, I don't. I can't think of anything. Let I'm like ready to go with questions. Let me yeah, help you, you out, Alabama out. fellas. What's the longest relationship you've been in? Oh yeah. Um, I'll I'll take it. Um, I I was in a very serious relationship for about two and a half years. Um. And we just realized we wanted different things, uh, especially geographically. Um, I, I wanted to be up in the mountains and uh, she ended up just down in Denver. So, um, you know, to each his own, still friends, but uh, about two and a half years longest. And you guys, you guys broke up because of location issues? Um, really where we wanted to be located. We, we lived together up in the mountains and she was over it. Um, she was original. She's a California girl, man. She did not take well to I-70 in the snow. Yeah, but it's fair. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> I seventy's a nightmare. Uh, this is a question for both both of the guys. Uh, what would you do to impress Alabama's parents? Oh God! <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> okay. Oh wow! Ooh, All right, here's what would happen: we would go to your parents' house, right? And then 
I would bring um, some homemade. What do they like to eat? What do you like to eat? Um, I like basically anything. Italian, Mexican food is like my favorite. Yeah. Sushi. Right. We're making, yeah. we can't make sushi, but we're making carbonara. <laughs> That's how good. We'll sure. do that. Okay. We'll cook. I'll cook for them and you, and then we'll have the wine and we'll wine and dine them. That okay. could work. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Sounds like a nice night. That's what I got. For me, um, I'm a I'm an outdoorsy t- type of guy. You know, I got I have two dogs. Um, I, I live right by a bunch of trailheads. Like I think, you know, maybe meeting your folks out somewhere, um, you know, doing a really mellow hike. Um, uh, you know, even just meeting them at like one of the downtowns in, in one of the villages, Breck, go for a uh, you know, a, fl- a flight of beer at the Breck Brewery or, um, you know, take a, a wine tour, and something like that, some where, shit. you know, it's not totally focused on us, but we're able to kind of mix and mingle, get the folks in there. Other people are there having a good time. So, oh, yeah, this yeah, is Alabama like coming to you, my man. Or a brewery. <laughs> it's the family in yeah. Alabama coming to you, my man. Yeah, he wants to take her parents <laughs> on a beer crawl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? My mom would actually really love that. Great on, great on. That sounds lit. What else you got, Nick? I I think that's it. I think Alabama can choose her man, and then we'll uh, see if they connect. And then, oh gosh, yeah. Um. Okay. Well, I think you both are great. Yeah. Two catches about both of you so far. Um. I think I'd like to get to know Dylan a little bit better for sure. Um. You seem really cool with the outdoorsiness and the fact that you have two dogs. I have a dog, so. Um, people who understand how dogs are perfect. If you have the patience for a puppy, that's, that's what I need. <laughs> so, yeah. Awesome. Well, congrats. You were great. Yeah, Grayson. Man. Thanks, yeah, Grayson, Grayson, you were great. Grayson, Grayson, Grayson Thanks, we'll guys. find someone for you, man. Yeah, You're and, a catch, and, and good yeah. luck with Keep the, up, good luck with the chef you, man. stuff, man. Keep going with that. Hey, thanks boys. Yeah. Good luck, brother. All right. We'll connect you two off air. Thanks everybody. Yeah. It doesn't All Alabama. Thanks. You killed it. Hopefully this helped. Uh, if you have yeah. any problems, reach out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> we'll do. Roughneck Justin Looking Timberlake right here you. is going to be all right. Yeah, appreciate <laughs> you guys, man. Thanks for playing. Mm-hmm. Gang, gang, buzz, 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 yeah. lover birds. Take care. Mm-hmm. Gang, gang, love, love. All right. I don't think that's going to work out. Why? <laughs> well, he doesn't want to move. <laughs> well, everything was like, uh, you'd fly out here, seven hour road trip. Yeah. They, <laughs> and yeah, and yeah, uh, you bring your parents you'd go on over. a beer crawl. Your parents would fly their yeah, fucking asses know. from Eugene, Oregon. And then. Uh, <laughs> The guy with the beard's tough, man. It's a certain style. It's like that hipster yeah. Charles Manson, the family vibe. You know what I'm saying? It's a real particular taste. Yeah, man. but he but he, he was artsier than yeah, the other yeah, ones. Yeah, though. Yeah. He, he was more cool. artsier. No, he was you know cool. Yeah, yeah. If I yeah. Was gay, he's I'd more be all he's over. more cultured than those other. Yeah, two. yeah. yeah. for sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah, he's going to auditions. Oh yeah. At a bar. And she picked yeah, that one movie. guy straight off looks. Yeah, hundred because there was no reason to pick that guy. He no, it didn't basically make said, "I'm not moving. He said, I'm not moving. Your ass you know is moving I mean? here. Even your parents got to come here." <laughs> yeah, he lives mm-hmm. in you know? in the in Summit. The other dude. guy knows your coffee order. I'm from like, Cal- you know? I'm from Colorado. It, yeah. That's a they, beast, man. You live in the you mountains. Know what? They'll probably shit. smash. And then I don't think so. I don't think they ever see each other. I think she digs that though, because he's he's just straight up. He's being honest. He's being real. Like I think she digs that. Yeah, I think she'll go. They'll see each other. What gives you that impression? Remember, I studied this quite a bit. <laughs> he already, I, first of all, I mean, he already knows. She already knows too. He, he he just said in the thing, "I don't do long distance." <laughs> you know what right. I mean? He's very upfront. He's very yeah, upfront. She, she's that's attractive. Picking, she's that's still very attractive. Him. He's like, "Yeah, bitch, you have to sell all your shit, move out of here." She likes uh, the way he looks, and just say it. Of course, that's, that's the number one. That, thing. that was the main thing. Yeah, the number I mean, one. I don't thing. know how. I mean, we're just gonna pretend looks don't matter. You know what I'm saying? We're they do saying though. That. No, I'm just saying. Like yeah. people want to pretend. You know, yeah. she doesn't want to seem shallow God. like that. Yeah, I mean, you know? it, but she. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so what's gonna happen? Are they gonna get hook up? Like, I mean, what, what happened? Yeah, my wife wouldn't be there if she looked like a warlock. You know, <laughs> it'll just go by the wayside. And they'll never so talk. what do you guys do? <laughs> well, we, we did. But, but remember, the girl Chim went on a date with with the big titties. She actually got married with the yeah, big titties. Yeah. And, and, I, but what happened to the other one? Remember the one that was like the, she was like mixed race. Oh yeah, she got murdered. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work out with her. She said the guys were flaky. Honestly, she sounded like she was a little hard to deal with. Uh, she wasn't happy with high anything. maintenance. Uh, she wasn't happy with anything. I don't yeah. Know. Uh, but, I mean, 
There it is. <laughs> that yeah. That. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> that. Yeah. No, uh, we we we're on the new episode we, of the first forty eight. We can't yeah. be honest on this show. Yeah. It's <laughs> tough, man. I you really know? like this segment though. You should keep doing it. I like it. I, I think it's really fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We just for fun. once we gotta find we gotta three girls. It. Yeah. We gotta yeah, find no, some girls help for one of our guys. Because Alabama's a dime piece. We have all these dime pieces and then it's like two good looking guys. The rest are fucking warlocks. You know, it's tough for the girls. Okay, yeah. I, I think it'll help if we have really desirable guys. So if you're a guy who wants to play a dating game with and see a bunch of suitors, send in your resume, yeah, yeah. what you do, why you should be. Bro, you know game. who we could hook up on here is Mark Harley. Yeah, that would he, be he's s- single. He's recently single, and girls fucking oh, love that. Oh, he's dude. a beast. We would, and if he put out, hey, submit to King of the Sting. Yeah, he's a dime. All right, guys, don't submit. We have our uh, we yeah, have dude. Our that's Mark, the next Mark's 100% submit. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna still yeah. do this. Oh, so still yeah. submit. But no, Mark Harley's uh, that'd be perfect. crazy. Yeah. And we should also try to let people know, like, hey, they're from this place, so shout out to that that place. Like, she's from where she like she's from Oregon. Yeah, like same, it should have been like, hey, Oregon, Oregon people. You she, know what I mean? She says where she's from, and we only get so many. So yeah, that's true. Right. But, yeah, it's tough. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I agree. It's fun. We'll Mark, with, Mark would be great though. Yeah. Oh yeah. We'll close out with a couple uh, King of the <laughs> Oh shit. Yo, Chapa here from Laredo, Texas. Strip clubs, king of the sting it. I mean, big king. What are we hey, talking about here, dude? All the way. I feel like Eric doesn't like him. <laughs> no. He's like, I don't like the violence. I don't like the ass shake up and down. Yeah, I, I, I. I just don't. I've never liked strip. You ever clubs. been to a good strip club though? Yes. And like I which don't one? Like them. I, what dude, the hell I've is wrong with you? You never been to Magic City in Atlanta? What? But no, I have like... not been to Magic. I don't like strip clubs because I'm because I I feel like I become Eric Savaho because I'm like, why are you here? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I am too. Man. <laughs> but I am too. We're like, man, I'm like, what you doing here, girl? What no, when, happened? When they're like, my name's Cinnamon. I'm like, sit down. Yeah, like, what's feel, your real name? Let's I, go play I, I used bullshit. to when I would when I went to strip clubs, I always end up gravitated towards like there's always like a bartender who's not a stripper, yeah. and she's like you could tell she's got contempt for the stripper, and that's the one I'm like, you what's up a, with you? You become a therapist. Yeah, yeah. I just I, I can't I can't get into it. Stevie, I feel like you spend all your cash. Well, I haven't in many years. Um, but when you used to go, I bet it was lit as fuck. Well, I went to the ones around my neighborhood because I don't have a car, so I'd walk to the one on La Brea. Sure. Um, oh. But I'd always, you know, the bad Even thing about it, well, it's blue yeah. balls. You get blue balls because, you know, you're there. And then, Not if you're playing the right game, but yeah. <laughs> well, sure, I don't know yeah, how to yeah, play yeah, that yeah, game. Yeah, all right. So, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah. no one's been to a strip Steve, club in Steve, Vegas. Watch what you're Steve, about to say, Rhino? dude. Steve went no, so many bet- times. He was like Norm from Cheers. Yeah. You know, when he walked in, they were like, Steve. They were like, just the usual. I've been to a strip club. I mean, I have a terrible strip club story, but I'll tell another time. What? I'd love to hear it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, no, we want to hear yeah. it. That's better than the submissions we have I, uh, <laughs> uh, left. Well, I knew this girl. She used to come by the comedy store, too. And she was like this like ex-playmate, whatever it is, right? So she, um, and this was way before I was single as hell. Sure. And she was like, um, she was like, oh, I'm in Vegas. I was in Vegas doing shows. And she's like, randomly hit me up like, come to Spearman Rhino, you know? And she then, must have been a baddie, though. Yeah, Spirit and then she Rhino sent me a picture it. of herself and her friend that was there. You Say know? less, girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I was yeah. like, all right, let me go. So I get there, and I go. So I'm, here's the first thing. I get to the I'm, – I'm so inexperienced with this. So I get to the door, and I'm like, okay, so, like, whatever her stripper name was, I forgot it at this time. And I, let's say it was Cinnamon. And I'd be yeah. like, yeah. They're like, we don't know who – whatever. You, you still yeah. got to pay to get in. Yeah. I'm thinking my name's at the door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no will called. The yeah, 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 yeah. So then I walk in, and then, like, immediately – Immediately, you get like harassed. Now, if you're like a nice guy, they, they, they know. take advantage. They take advantage. It's you, a feeding friend. You know why? Because they know you're not supposed to be in there. Yeah. So they really going after you. Yeah. You know. So then, the, you know, it's like a used car salesman type. You look shit. like the like, dad that walked in looking for his daughter. You know what I mean? It <laughs> yeah. was like yo 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 yo. And so then I see them, and I'm like, God damn, they got they're like looking dope. Then they they want to get drinks. I go, yeah. let's get some. All right, I go, but I don't drink. So Are you I'm by like, yourself at this? I'm time? by myself. What gangster? Yeah. So I'm like, all right, you want to? Okay, let's get drinks. So I get to the bar, and they order what they order. Then the bartender looks at me. He's like, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be $60. I'm like, what? Hell yeah, dog. So I'm like, okay. And then it was like, they just walking me around. And then they go, hey, let's go to this one room. The boom boom room. Yeah. Let's go to this room. So we go in the room, you know, and it, but it was like $100 each to oh, go yeah, to this room. Per, per dance. You know what I mean? And I'm like, okay. But stuff was happening that probably don't normally happen. Sure. Oh, it does, but carry on. Okay, whatever. Yeah, you're special. Keep, yeah, keep yeah, yeah, yeah. They were, they were, that we, makes you feel good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And then special. we walk around some more and they go, we should go to this other room. Yes. <laughs> 
I, I, upstairs. I feel like though we just went in a circle and went back into the same room. <laughs> <laughs> they thought you were. You know what I mean? They like, thought I'm you like, were drunk. I'm like, bitch, is that my jacket? <laughs> 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 so we in the same room. So now it's two. The long story short, I'm out a thousand dollars. I'm out a thousand dollars, and I'm like, I, 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 when I walked out of the street, you think about like, what you're making that weekend and shit. I was like, like God damn, what, what just did I just get taken by somebody you that got claimed to be my friend? Yeah, oh, well, yeah, you know all what I mean? Never and... talk to that bitch again. No, mm-hmm. never. You know, and I was like, why would you like? You're just like, okay. Yeah, that's how you want to be. That's how they roll, man. Oh man, just the they monsters. They smelled you a mile away, dog. Sm- like, um, yeah, she, knew, like, she they knew. know, dude. Yeah, I was like, what? What am I doing? <laughs> like, what am I doing in here? You know what I mean? They ate you alive. Yeah, dog. yeah. I didn't even. I didn't even finish. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I got myself to the point because I was doing yeah, all you kind dragged of stuff off hard back in that Motel Six. When I, you know, I was just angry at that point, just <laughs> yeah. looking at my wallet. Like, did I just spend a thousand dollars for nothing? Yeah. A thousand for, dollars? And got nothing. nothing. You got yeah. nothing. Yeah. You would see, it, it, you know, and. And then the reason, like, you go to a strip club, I guess, because you think, like, well, I don't want to. Whatever the rationale is, it would have been easier if I would have just said to her, "Just come to my hotel and I give you five hundred dollars." Yeah, more you know than five hundred, but yeah. No, I'm, I'm saying, yeah. Why go through all that rigmarole? <laughs> yep. Like, oh, why, why go through this like pretending like you were interested and say, like, "Here's five hundred. Just come to my hotel." Right? I mean, it's like, but the people, we don't want to do that because it's, it feels slimier. No, you can. You it can. feels slimier. Yeah, you can. You still go, how much bacon <laughs> night? And like, let's get the fuck out of here. It's two grand. Mm-hmm. I've heard of people doing that. <laughs> oh, have you? I'm just, have, have you heard? That's what some people do. Now the same way Brendan gets triggered by UFC, the smell of UFC fights. If You're Eric goes strip clubs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even. A thousand bucks. Yeah, yeah. I just Because I know. You just you go like, oh, oh, I can't trust none of y'all. I think your Tommy Bahama shirt gave it away when you yeah. walked in. You feel me? When he was buttoning up, not, they're like. I, I I had you had, some that, show you had that dad on. energy. It, I did. Yeah. No, but I had you no know, the energy I had. They probably said he probably got a family. He ain't supposed to be in 100%. here. Hundred percent. Get like, him. And they, exactly. It's like you're chumming the water. You know, you know the, the people <laughs> that sharks come out with big tits. The people <laughs> that the people that survive in strip clubs are probably super asshole guys because they know. Or or you know the they, game. They're in there like, or, nah, or you know nah, the nah, game. Nah. Or you know the game. Yeah, like, but yeah, you got to be assholes yeah, to them to get them put this quarter, off of you. Put this quarter in your butthole. Or the, 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 <laughs> or the worst <laughs> is when you get there and like the worst looking stripper approach you first. Like, come on, bitch. Get my, you're <laughs> fucking up the game, Dude, man. I, I was in Kansas City and uh, the, the what's the Stanford and Sons. The, the guy died that owns the club. Okay. But he was, t- he was a, a maniac. He, he took me to a strip club. The strip club was so terrible. I was the big attraction in the strip club. That's how bad the strippers yeah, were. Yeah, the strippers can't be good. Yeah, yeah. In Kansas City? Because I'm sitting there, and then yeah, everybody's like, oh, sauce shit, and shit on well, what's up, workaholics? You yeah. Know? And then the, stri- the stripper was, st- you know, and everybody's still, <laughs> you know what I mean? But her C-section scar <laughs> C-section. was like, you, you know what I mean? It's like, when, when I'm the attraction in the strip club. Butterfly tattoo on yeah, her back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the tattoos are saggy because, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, like, it's a nightmare. Yeah. Dude. Hey, let's do a field trip to King of the Sting strip club night. I'm down. Don't Nick Nick it. would go dead broke in that bitch. Uh, I, I actually, hey Nick, what's I'm going, a little man? bit more like Eric. I never lost it, but like that's always been like my perception. Like they're just they're just taking me. But no, as a group, it's fun. Nick will yeah, be, man, let's do he'll it. He'll be like, in there let's, doing let's bets. A field trip. <laughs> doing parlay bets. No, Who's got the biggest yeah, titties? Trip, the wet one, this one. No, Nick's the guy where we're all as a crew and they're like, Where the yeah, fuck's Nick? Rolling. And he's in the fucking <laughs> private room, doesn't yeah. know they took his credit card. Nine dances later, he's like, 17 grand. Yeah, that's a waste of time. Well, they ain't getting that. No, yeah. He already called the Company, like, <laughs> you put fraud, a stop on this. Uh, <laughs> this fraudulent charge. Then you, then you, you basically bring, get one, you know. Then you yeah. bring Christian and Kyle in there. They find the one fat bitch. <laughs> talking about getting married and shit. Christian, like, nah, man, she good. The short kings find their big queen. Yeah, that'd be lit. Oh wow. Yeah, just double team on her. They're That's like, all we got. They like big girls. That's it, man. Hey, uh, Hollywood Improv, December 22nd. That's next Wednesday. You will be there and some other hilarious people. One night only, one show, 8 p.m., Hollywood Improv. All right, get your tickets now because it's only one show. That bitch is selling out. And then December 30th through January 1st, I'm in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Danny of Florida, bringing the New Year's with your thick friend here and the crew, Chappelle Lacey and David Lucas. And then in January, I'm in North Carolina twice. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina, and then also Charlotte, North Carolina. So get your tickets right now, fam. Yeah, I don't got a lot. Well, I got some other stuff, but I'm in Arizona this weekend. So I'm at Stand Up Live this weekend. And, they, and, they, and they actually, I just added on a show on the 16th at that other club they have. In Arizona now? In oh. uh, uh, Scottsdale? This airs on the 16th, so. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, know. well, that doesn't yeah. matter anyway. So come tomorrow to Stand Up Life. Yep. Um, I, Me and Jeremiah are going to be at Soul Joel's January 8th uh, doing a Scissor Bros Live podcast. I also, can I plug my music? Just one of my albums. I have a new okay. music project on Spotify. Oh, damn. So no. type in Q-U-A-N-G-O-U. The album is called I Feel Stir Crazy. So check it out. Is it it's like punk rock or what are we talking about? No, it? it's just like underground rap stuff. Ooh, yeah, yeah, just, ooh you're it, rapping? Well, I'm making, I made, did all the production Can we play well. a sample of it? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, we'll go out. We'll go yeah, out. If, if you want. Hit yeah. it, Nick. Yeah. Um, if you go, the stuff, um, he, got, he got a good song about his dad. Oh. Yeah, you can play this. Is this you singing? Oh, it's, that's a sample. Is that like Gene Wilder? Yeah, maybe, maybe. What's the best song to play on here, Stevie? I mean, I like this, this one. Yeah. yeah, sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all my albums sound like this. You son of a gun. Did you do it in the aquarium? Yeah. I thought it was like more. <laughs> no, this is, he does it in his bathroom and the AC is on. He's up. Soul Jones. Go get Stevie's music. Just tune in for the laughs Theo said that he was on his way But ran out of gas Stevie Weeby used to wrestle down at Poway Now he only finished boys in the hallway This ain't the greatest show on earth And what you call that Eric Griffin with them He the Nate dog a podcast Yeah, the whole crew sick It's the king and the stink What up, Jim? What up, Nick? Stevie Weeby, Eric Griffin Just walked in and got it lit You can't forget about Brendan He still need everything in the trap trapping still the king in the sting so quit asking if you know then you know it's a cat's thing ball and chain hair swang like the rat king king in the sting back with the crew we got stevie weeby eric griffin brendan theo too yeah you know how we do it so just tune in for the laughs theo said that he was on his way but ran out of gas king in the sting The stink.